Machine Learning Design. Hello, listener. This presentation is in response to a H880 assignment after watching Green Connell's Seven C's of Learning Design. I'll start with this. Consider the analogy of a truck driver carrying loads of sand to a location. There must be an outline or roadmap designed to establish the process from knowing the contact at end point to mapping the route to take, examining if he has enough content needed and well to get to the contact, and so much more. Learning always have a content, and delivery mechanism of the content depends on the context the learning is being projected for. Formally, a teacher is merely required to come in front of the class to deliver learning, and everything she does are wrapped around that. Here comes technology that has offered several and clearly distinct affordances from what a teacher was used to or supposed or required to do. Technology has therefore created a challenge with the promise and capacity of expanding the pathways for contest application. The major takeaway on all of this is the fact that a teacher can't administer a learning content the same way she used to on a technology-driven pathway. To deploy technology enhanced learning, or tell, a teacher must first learn its nuances. This necessitates a redesign of learning to be able to use and take advantage of technology affordances for effective learning delivery. According to the 2014 ALT report cited by Connell, which I will sum to one, teachers don't have or use necessary digital skills to deliver technology enhanced learning because they don't have time to learn, understand, or find them. That is the challenge that we have presently. The necessity of redesigning learning with increased technology affordances is what is finding the essence of learning design. Invariably, learning design is not a new concept as every learning delivered has had a form of design before delivery. The obvious thing is that technology has gone to the extent of creating a continuum with traditional learning that it is obvious default learning design skills, perspectives, and beliefs do not fit into tell again. Learning design helps teachers shift from a belief-based implicit approach to a design-based explicit approach. So invariably, in Connell's learning design definition, it states that learning design guides a teacher or guides teachers in their practice by developing useful notations or de design notations or perhaps standards, as we call it, that can be universally proven and adopted through sharing and collegiality to design learning with TEL. Collegiality is about peer sharing and learning amidst teachers. So we come to the seven C's of learning design framework, which has been broken down into four breakout parts. As we can see, uh, we have the vision, the activities, the sentences, and the implementation, which carries each of the C's at one point or the other. In envisioning, uh, uh, conceptualizes the first C, and it talks about envisioning the course and taking you through the path of primary objective of the course, why, who, and what you want to design, the key principles and pedagogical approaches, the nature of the primary audience, that means the learners. Now we'll move to the activities that are uh, the second breakout. And in, <clears throat> under the activities, we have uh, create, uh, C, which is finding and creating interactive materials, which includes undertaking a resource audit of existing OER, that's Open Education Resources, planning for creation of additional multimedia such as interaction materials, podcasts and videos, mechanism for enabling learners to create their own content, and so on. Then we have another C under the activity section called Communicate. Now, in this case, we have to understand the aspect, the necessity of fostering communication for learning design. Then the other C uh, uh, acti uh, under the activities is that needs to be imputed into the activities is fostering collaboration. For collaboration 
increases the quality and the robustness of whatever is being designed. Then we talk about consider. Now, consider it's a reflectional word. Designing activities that foster reflection, mapping learning outcomes to, ass to assessment, designing assessment activities, uh, and so on. Then we come to the uh, third breakout, which is the synthesis point. This is where you combine all of the things that have actually been uh, put together in the activities section to transform uh, um, in the learning or to bring up the learning that we're, uh, we're projecting. Then combining the learning activities is key to learning design. After combining, then we are ready to consolidate, which is implementing in real life envisioned activities that has been synthesized for the context we are talking about. So we've actually succeeded in introducing learning design to the audience and the four breakouts that has the seven C's framework in it. Thank you.